It has been one year since the sudden death of Michael Jackson. Fans took time to mark the occasion by laying flowers in Glendale at the cemetery where Jackson has been laid to rest. And a short time ago, Jackson's family arrived at the cemetery carrying flowers. I would just reporter Michelle Charlesworth is outside the Apollo Theater in Harlem where people have gathered all day. Michelle? You know, this is really nice today. It is so hard to believe that he has now been gone a year, but Michael Jackson was honored today at the Apollo Theater where he first took the stage. Think about this. When he was nine years old. I love Michael. I've been a Michael Jackson fan basically my whole short life here. Bela Jean is not my lover. People were singing and remembering and dancing on 125th Street all morning. And it got a little contagious. And then these guys made us do a double take. I'm going to teach you. Oh, the ball of dance. Sit yourself down and take a seat. All you got to do is repeat after me. A, B, C. E's as one, two, three. I'm simple as the rain. Me. A, B, C. One, two, three. Baby, you and me, girl. Good, right? We loved them. Fans and performers came to honor Michael Jackson outside of the Apollo with a bronze plaque now in the sidewalk. This is where Michael took the stage at the age of nine before anyone knew his name. The song was um, Who's Loving You, uh, one of Smokey Robinson's uh, songs. Apollo historian Billy Mitchell says Michael signed with Motown Records later that year and he became the public sensation who would touch so many people so personally. I'm here to show the world that we're not going to forget this man. Karen has all of Michael's most famous costumes and did a little moonwalking and laughing with me. Hey, it is not easy in heels. Before we let you go, another listen. Never can say goodbye. Say goodbye. No. Every time I think I've had enough, I start heading for the door. There's a rabbit's that is the ultimate Michael Jackson tribute. That was so much fun listening to them. I know you want to know where to find those kids. Actually, the lead singer is 13 years old. He's from Jersey City. They're a part of a uh, group called Dancing in the Streets. It's going to be a show around here starting in the fall. We are live on 125th Street right now outside of the Apollo where there's a graduation going on. Michelle Charles with Channel 7 Eyewitness News.